So I teach high school band. Um, the prerequisites for being in high school band are that you have been in band more than one year. Uh, we do have some, uh, you just have to be in for more than one year. Uh, you have to be able to reasonably play. Um, you can't just come in and sit. Um, so, um, preferably you have your own instrument, but if you don't, we have school instruments, so we can provide all those. That's not a problem. But you do need some foundation of music education up to this point. There are lots of outside uh, commitments. We meet often before school, um, start at seven o'clock in the morning and then go through first hour. Uh, concerts, after hours, football games, we go to all of those. Uh, Oklahoma is a Friday night light state, so we have to be at all those to support the team. Uh, and then our Saturdays in the fall are really full um, with marching contests and things like that. In the spring, the time con commitments are simply uh, before school. Occasionally we have some after school sectionals and things like that. And then our, our contests, which are usually out of school days. We uh, presently have vocal one, vocal two, and vocal three. Vocal one is primarily for freshmen. And uh, vocal two could be freshmen, some sophomores, some juniors. And vocal three would be uh, mainly 11th grade, maybe 12th grade. And uh, more advanced uh, for freshmen, uh, we would have students that were uh, have little prior experience uh, to uh, vocal music. And uh, uh, vocal two would be students that have some prior uh, uh, experience but not necessarily interested in doing solo, being involved in all state or all district. Uh, vocal three would be more of our select and they would be expected to audition you know for all state, all district. Uh, also got to uh, go to contest in the spring and do vocal, uh, vocal contest and uh, we would have um, uh, outside activities Occasionally, we, we've uh, gone to Tulsa and sang, uh, you know, for Christmas. Uh, in the spring, we'll have a spring trip. And um, also, uh, commitments for the year would be uh, to sing for the Veterans Day program in November, and then Christmas program, and then spring program. Those are required uh, because all three classes are performance oriented. Basically, PE stands for physical education, so if you're not willing to be physically active, um, then don't get in the class. It's a, it's a great elective and promotes healthy you know, awareness and um, just daily um, activities. We'll play games usually twice a week and work out um, twice a week. Um, we have some access to the weight room, just depending on availability, but uh, well, we dress out, which is half your credit, and then we're going to be engaged in whatever activity we're doing for that day. So it's just a great way to get out of the classroom and move and uh, keep yourself healthy. Strength training is a way for our athletes to stay engaged in the weight room and their daily curriculum. Um, prerequisites for strength training is to be involved in a sport um, at the high school level. And if you've quit a sport, then you have to get clearance from the coaches staff to even be allowed in the class. Um, it's highly engaged activity daily, and um, you need to be ready to get hooked up if you're gonna get in the class. Fitness is a class for junior high and high school students. Any student could be a part of it. We learn how to take care of our body through working out three days a week. We're active. You could dress out if you want to or you don't have to. The other days of the week, we do more of the academic side. We learn about nutrition, vitamins, what to put in your body, what not to put in your body. We have a lot of fun. We do some stress management things. We do things like aerobics, yoga, kettlebells. And we learn some mental health, organization stuff. And we really hope that you join us next semester because it's a a really cool class. So 
athletics is a privilege. It's not a right. Um, so there are prerequisites, and you know, for kids to be able to compete. Uh, first and foremost, you gotta you gotta be good in the classroom. And, you know, you gotta have a certain uh, GPA, grade point average, uh, to be able to compete. Um, that is an OSSA state regulated um, rule. So everything starts in the classroom. You have to you know you have to be really good there in order to be able to keep and compete in, in any type of athletics, regardless of uh, you know what grade you're in. Um, we do have several sports that require tryouts um, just because our numbers are really good which is a good problem to have um, so there's usually a two to three week time where we have a tryout um, head coach and their assistant coaches will go through an evaluation period and then pick their roster and their squad based on based on that and then um, the second or the third part of that is you know you have to be a good person you know we're not again like I said athletics is a privilege not a right so the right type of people are going to be involved so um, we want our kids to be good people in the classroom, they'll treat people with respect from their principal to their teachers to the custodian to the cafeteria workers. Um, you know, our athletes are held to a higher standard and they're going to be good people and good people in our community and in our society, um, you know, if they're going to be involved uh, in Wardog Athletics. In Art One, we learn how to combine the elements of art with the principles of design to create masterpieces. There are no prerequisites for art, and it's a two semester class, and there is a $20 lab fee. Okay, so I teach speech, which is a freshman level class. It's a requirement for graduation, and it teaches students how to speak in public and how to get up in front of a group and make a presentation, um, gives them the tools to help them find their voice. So drama is for all levels of high school and it's a chance to learn about the creative arts. Um, we do everything from uh, impromptu speech games to movie studies to um, even building toward having a school musical. So it's, it's a little bit of everything, but it gives you a taste of the creative arts in terms of what happens if you're an actor or behind the scenes or putting it together as a director. Debate is a um, ninth through 12th grade class. It is easier if you take it after you have speech, but you can take them simultaneously. Um, it is a class where you learn how to do Lincoln Douglas, which is an individual debate form, and public forum, which is a partner debate. And hopefully it would also let you compete um, at the state level uh, with as a debater. If you like to argue and research, then it's the class for you. Digital media allows students to have a better understanding of our digital world. Um, this course allows students to learn different camera techniques, um, play with lighting, and then work on editing skills, conduct interviews. They use softwares um, like Final Cut Pro, iMovie, um, Artist.io to learn how to copyright and download music. Um, this course is a great option for kids who are active in wanting to possibly get into filmmaking or um, things like that. Uh, course requirements to be in, it requires you to be a junior or a senior. Um, we do leave campus some days, so you have to have a form filled out that allows you to drive or to ride with another student. So being a junior or senior allows us to have the flexibility of being able to have drivers. News media is responsible for creating the War Dog Weeklies that we watch in Encore every week. Um, news media allows students to learn how to create meaningful stories, how to gather the news and create it in a way that is entertaining for people to watch. Um, this class allows students to learn different camera techniques, um, play with editing softwares like Final Cut Pro and iMovie, um, and then it, it increases communication skills and kind of teaches students how to go out and be confident in getting information that needs to be heard. Um, 
Prerequisites for this class is we are asking kids to fill out an application for this class since we are dealing with um, a lot of equipment on a daily basis. Um, we are out and about throughout the school and we're filming at least once or twice a week. Um, we're doing interviews all week and then we are coming back at the very end and adding it all together. Reading for Pleasure is a class that it's just what it sounds like. It's for students who love to read. There's no prerequisites and it we're just going to let you read whatever book you want to read and at the end we're going to have you um, suggest to the class book, books that you've read that you really enjoyed. Okay, Spanish 2 is um, a continuation of Spanish 1. It's based on an ingenuity program that, that we use as our foundation and you'll learn um, vocab and uh, preterite and imperfect tenses and present progressive. So the Ag Exploration class is for 8th graders and then the Ag 1 is typically a ninth grade Ag class. You have to have either one of those if you're trying to get into the animal science, plant science, or the Ag Higher Tech class. There are a wide variety of contests kids get to compete in within the program. Um, for example, we've got livestock judging, horse judging, um, agronomy, vet science, floriculture. We even got kids competing in shooting sports. If you're in an ag class, you're part of the world's largest youth organization, the FFA. So in addition to learning a lot of curriculum within the classroom, they get to apply what they learn. The internship program is a component of a student's career pathway. And what it really is, it takes the student's natural talents and their interest, and we pair that up with a business here in town. A student will go to that business for about two hours a day or 10 hours a week. And what it does is it really helps a student learn about that business. Do they really want to pursue that when they get to um, college or after high school education? What is it that they really want to do? And the internship program helps confirm that or it helps give them a pathway for them to go down after they get out of high school. Okay, this particular course is reserved for students that are seniors and they have room in their schedule for, for two, hour, two class periods a day.